Hey, it's Gene Redden with Lifetime Lumber again. I want to introduce you to John Zaza. He's a good partner of mine. He works in the uh, South Florida area selling Lifetime Lumber. What Lifetime Lumber is, is a fencing product. You can go to www.lifetimelumber.com to get more information. Essentially, we're a new generation of composite material. Although there are no thermoplastics in our material, so you, there's a lot of good benefit from that, and that's why we're talking to you today, specifically about HOAs. Now, John, you've had a lot of experience with HOAs, so uh, why don't you weigh in on that one? Yeah, no, I'd be happy to. Uh, the, the experience is, uh, that I've had is very, quite frankly, uh, I've been very lucky in the south part of Florida that I'm in because I'm virtually, virtually an HOA property management heaven. Uh, this whole area of uh, southeast coast of Florida, southwest coast, northwest coast of Florida is just engulfed with, with uh, homeowners associations. What I find with the homeowners associations is uh, there's a couple of really key things, uh, points that uh, I'd like to make. The first one is you have to be on side not, with not only with the, the homeowners associations, but they all seem to be managed, most of them, with by property management companies. So it's very key and important to uh, be on side with and get on side with and have them on your side with the property management organizations, companies, the companies that are managing all of these associations. Uh, um, every one of them has a property manager on site that deal with the homeowners associations, the president of the board, the treasurer, Two key people in presenting lifetime lumber uh, is the are the treasurer and the and the president of the associations. Uh, recently, about six weeks ago, and we're in the middle of June right now. About six weeks ago, I met with a property manager and uh, uh, introduced a lifetime lumber product. Uh, let's face it, timing is everything. Everybody says that it's very true, and uh, we introduced the product, and uh, the timing was perfect. Their their fence was the privacy fence in between all of the homes and in front of the air conditioning units. And we're gonna show you that uh, uh, at some point in this video, uh, when we go for a drive to the job site, was literally falling apart, 20 years old. Uh, the, the other thing that's important to find out with homeowners associations are, do they have any money in reserves for this type of product, maintenance, repair, painting of their fencing? And I think uh, what you'll find and what I have found is that uh, most of them do, that most of them have money in reserve to uh, maintain their fence uh, for privacy, for security, for safety reasons, obviously. This particular homeowners association that I dealt with had an annual budget for replacing, repairing, and maintaining their fence of $100,000. That is an incredible that, that, That's a lot of money. And when we sat down and we presented the Lifetime Lumber product and we started talking about the numbers to, to the treasurer and the president, the ones that are controlling the money and, or, and overseeing the whole association, this is a 280 home association, uh, again, which you'll see. Uh, what we found out and what interested them is, at some point in time, how much money of the, how much of that hundred thousand dollar budget can they put back into their pockets or use to spend elsewhere, somewhere else in the community? For what, like uh, tennis courts and that sort of thing? Tennis courts, uh, maintenance on HVAC, whatever it is. Like roofing. It. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, exactly. Uh, um, their clubhouse. Uh, yeah. They're constantly upgrading yeah. and maintaining yeah. their clubhouse, and uh, their their eyes lit up, virtually lit up when they uh, when they when they found out that they could they could put some more money back to put some of this money back in their pocket. This particular uh, a project that we secured was around a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what kind of a real quick payback or return on their investment uh, would be by spending that money one time, not have the maintenance, not have all the repair bills and uh, take a look at uh, allocating that reserve money possibly somewhere else. The other thing we found out, and we're actually going to go forward and do in this particular uh, homeowners association, which we'll show you, is um, every, every month, every other month, they have to hire a contractor to come in to replace their fascia board. All their fascia board is starting to rot out, and they replace it in sections, and it really looks sloppy. you got a two-foot piece, you got a three-foot piece, a six-foot piece, and they're really patching up their fascia boards, which are now rotting, uh, for obviously the same reasons. What we have secured with this particular homeowners association is we're now going to be replacing all of their fascia board with lifetime lumber, and uh, literally uh, we'll start to see you'll start to see them decrease that expense as well. This particular uh, project, they spent about a thousand dollars a month replacing fascia board. That's that's just fascia board. Just fascia board, and. Uh, the maintenance in these uh, these these associations is astronomical. The amount of money they spend it is it, it is literally astronomical. So uh, calling on homeowners associations very very important very very key to getting 
the property manager is on site. The property manager in this particular project, Gene, was, I would say, 95% instrumental in getting this sale happening, getting the sale made. She was on side. She promoted it. She was a great, uh, happened to be a, a female, obviously. She was just a, a, just a great ally to convince the board uh, to do this. The other thing that was interesting about this project very quickly is when I sat down originally with the treasurer and we introduced the product and had our initial meeting, he looked at me and said, we're not planning on doing any of this until 2013. We're in June 2011. After we went through the numbers, he looked at me and he said, I'm going to hold an emergency meeting with the board and I'm going to try and get this pushed through immediately. And that's exactly what happened. You know, exactly. it doesn't matter the application. When you talk about lifetime lumber, we, we, I proudly say anyhow with my contacts that we're not the low-cost alternative and neither do we want to be. But we bring the best value that there can be because of that non-maintenance going down the road, whether it's a HOA or, or, or many, many acres on a... On a uh, a personal property or whatever it is, you're going to spend a little more up front. But holy moly, you, you, you never have to stain, you never have to replace, you never have to paint. Uh, it, is, it is truly, truly a technologically advanced product. And so we're bringing it to as many possible applications as we can. It's a great story of the HOAs because, as you've mentioned before, they're so familiar with spending maintenance dollars on fencing. Absolutely true. It's all about the dollars and cents, and the dollars just added up. It just made too much sense for them not to do this. And one of the things I do immediately in an initial meeting, in an initial presentation of the product with people in this scenario, is I come right out and say right at the beginning, if you're looking for low cost, if you're looking for the cheapest, go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's. You'll find all kinds of it there. We are we're the Mercedes-Benz of not only composite product in the market, but we're, we're, we're more expensive but you're only going to pay for it one more time. Yeah, that's right. And if, yeah, I say all the time, just wait until two years down the road when your neighbor has bought a bunch of stain or paint and has to spend the weekend doing that while you're loading your clubs to go to you off at 8 a.m. So, so, you know what? Uh, Let's basically, go look at this. We're going, to, uh, we're going to sign off for now. When we come back on, we're going to be on the site, and we're going to uh, just kind of show you what's, uh, what's happening, the teardown. And then obviously as we go down the road here in the next two, three weeks when the, when the project is, is completed, we'll be showing you that as well just to show you the before and after effects of what this product uh, really, really can do and what it looks like. Yeah, let's so get out we'll, of here. Be, we'll be back at, at you soon. <clears throat>